So today's video is has a very simple message. God loves you. But I really challenge you to stay tuned if you think that's too simplistic to see what I have to say. And perhaps you yourself need that message today, so stay tuned. So hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Laura if you're new here. I really encourage you to subscribe to subscribe if you are interested in all and anything Catholic related. I'm also a mommy of two little kids. I'm an army wife. I'm a law school grad. So I just talk to you guys about Catholicism in general, life in general, and how we are here because God loves us and we're here to know God, love God, and do God's will so we can spend eternity with him in heaven. So if that's something that interests you, then make sure you subscribe. And if you're returning, then welcome back. So this message that God loves us can seem really simplistic. And if you've grown up as a Christian, you've heard this so many times. God loves you. God loves you. And it's so true, right? But it can turn into this platitude of like, well, I know God loves me, but what does that really mean? Or we, you know, some of us can just take it for granted. And then there's other people who maybe have never heard that message that God loves you and not just a God, not just this omnipresent, omnipotent, you know, God, but a father, our father, God loves us. And through baptism, we are become his children. And it's just so beautiful. So I just wanted to spend a few minutes talking about this because like you, I kind of get this point where I think everybody knows that God loves them. Why would we why would we need to continue that message? But the other day I was watching one of the videos on Formed about the Holy Spirit. And I will link down the video below. Um, if you don't know what Formed is, it's like, like a Catholic Netflix kind of, but it has like audiobooks and things like that as well. It's $10 a month, but most parishes actually have a code so that you can sign in for free and they actually pay yearly due to form so that the parishioners can have access to it for free. So definitely check out a bulletin near you even if you're not Catholic, um, if you need help logging in, let me know so that you can start like learning about the faith if that's something that interests you and you're not already doing so. And if you are Catholic, I just highly, highly encourage you to pop in there because we can never be formed enough, right, in our faith. It's never, we never stop learning. We're never just done just because we got confirmed. That's not the case at all. So there is a whole series on the Holy Spirit and this priest was talking about how, like me, you know, like most of us, we're like, yes, we know that God loves him. God loves us. But then he encounters someone who didn't know that message, who said, God couldn't love me. I'm too sinful. I'm too wretched. I'm just, I can't be loved. And, and if so, if you're feeling that way, just know that's not true. That God loves you despite your sins. That your sins, I love how St. Therese puts this. If your sins, if you did every single sin in the world to take all the bad things, murder, rape, incest, just anything, and you and all the others, right? And you put them all, they're like a drop of water in the furnace of God's mercy. That even before it reaches God's burning love for you, it just dissolves. And that's what confession is. And that's, this video is not about confession, but if you are feeling like God doesn't love you, I highly, highly suggest looking into RCIA, looking into the sacrament of confession because God can absolve you from anything. It can absolve you from abortion, from murder, divorce, adultery, you know, hitting your kids, whatever it is. I mean, I don't even know, but God can absolve you from that all. And in the sacrament of confession is where that takes place, that healing takes place. But this video is not about confession. It's about love. And so just as a general topic, right? God is love. God is outside of time and space. He has always been existing. And, but we know that God is a, is a Trinitarian God. There's three persons in God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Because God is a relational spirit, being, I don't know how, however you want to put it, right? It's outside of our brain to be able to comprehend this. But so God, the Father, and the Son have this relationship between each other. And the Holy Spirit is that love between each other. So I want to tell you a story that I heard in the show that I thought was really valuable for anybody. This story is about a penny. So this girl has told this priest that, you know, I'm not I'm a sinner. 
God can't love me. And while she was speaking to him one day, she had a penny that she was kind of messing around with. Well, later on that day, she went home and thought some more about that penny and wrote him this letter. And I can't summarize better than he could tell you himself. So again, I'll link the episode below. But ultimately what she said was, you know, pennies all look different. Some are just slightly dirty. Some are tarnished beyond recognition. Some are the shiny and new. And she was like, these are like people, like souls, that some souls are filled with grace from a very early age and they don't fall into sin a lot. Or if they fall into sin, they immediately go to confession and they're kind of always striving for this perfection from a very early age. And we see this in like th people like St. Therese or other children like St. Emilda, you know, these children that reach this level of holiness very early on. And they're kind of like the shiny, shiny pennies. But then we have some souls that just fall into sin, into darkness, perhaps into mortal sin. And these may be very, very black souls, um, souls that just feel very dirty. So ultimately, she came to this conclusion that even though some pennies are just look like they've gone through a lot and other pennies don't, and there's an array, right, that they're all worth the same amount. They're all worth the same, and that's the way God looks at our soul. We are all worth the same. Even if you're not baptized, God loves every single human that he created, because he creates us all, the exact same. He would have died on that cross just for you, just for one person. He didn't die for all of humanity. He died for each and every one of us individually. When he was in the agony of the garden, he saw every sin I would ever commit, you would ever commit, and he had his agony. But it wasn't this general agony of like, oh my gosh, the human race. It was every single one of us and how we would hurt him with our sins. We would turn away from him. He, we would hurt his church, we would hurt his Eucharistic face, we would hurt his mother, every single one of us. And yet, you know, he said, not thy will, but your will be done, Father. And he did that for you. He did that for you. So, yes, this idea of God is love and God loves you can seem very simple. But when we start breaking it open, when we start looking at the passion of our Lord, when we start looking at the incarnation of our Lord, our Jesus Christ, becoming man, becoming this innocent, weak, little baby that must be cared for, that we look at the outside of nature, at this creation, at this world that God has given us, that he has allowed us to be relational beings with other people and experience the joys of love of a family. It just, the blessings go on and on. And I know that in this society, where there's this huge focus on gratitude, gratitude journals, gratitude, you know, and even if you don't pray, there's also this idea of being grateful. Well, who are you being grateful to? You're being grateful to God. Ultimately, that's where it comes from, right? Everything comes from God and everything is given to us for love. So yes, the message may be simple and maybe you've heard this enough that you're just like, yeah, Lori, you didn't tell me anything new, but that's okay. Because I think that every single person who watches this can take 15 minutes today or even five minutes if you just can't even stand 15 minutes of meditation and focus on the words God loves you just as you are just like Bridget Jones says in Bridget Jones diary he, he likes me just as I am but God loves you just as you are you don't merit God's love you don't earn God's love you're not meant to be a perfect person sitting in a pew we are sinners, we have concupiscence, we have inherited Adam's sin. What I wanted to say is that your sins don't keep you from God and they don't keep you from loving God. And if anything, your sins allow you to be humble, allow you to look at yourself accurately, to accuse yourself of those sins, and to make strives to be better than you were yesterday. Every day can be the best day of your life because every day you can commit to working on some kind of vice, weeding out a vice, working on a virtue. It's never too late. It's never too eight late to enter Jesus' church. It's never too late to come to him, to fall on your knees in front of a tabernacle and to say, Jesus Christ, I, you are truly there and I am sorry. It's never too late. RCA is still going on. If you watch this and you're like, what in the world is RCA? 
go find a Catholic parish near you, find a bulletin, pop over to whatever time they say RCAA is starting, email them, call them, stop by the office, because RCAA is going to catechize you on this fact as well as the others that leads you to Jesus Christ's church. Because like I said, Jesus Christ died for each and every one of us, knowing every single sin we would ever commit. We are never too dirty for Christ. We are never too unworthy for Christ. We are never, we are not wretched. We are made in the image and likeness of God. Even if you're not baptized, you are made in the image and likeness of God, which means you have God within you, in your soul. It doesn't mean you look physically like God. It means that your soul, your love, your charity, your, you know, your striving for hope and optimism in this world, that your appreciation for nature, for your caring for your kids, all that comes from God. We can't do any of that. That is God within us. That is in the image and likeness of God. Anytime you love, you are working in the image and likeness of God. So I'm going to stop there. Please down below, let me know if this resonated with you at all. And if not, that's okay. I, like I, I just thought I'd put this out here, there. And if no one needs this message, then no one needs this message. But if one person needed this today, if one person can say, wow, I never realized that God truly loved me that way or I felt unworthy, or I felt like I've just have been too far from him. Maybe you grew up Catholic and now you're not, or, and you're just too, feel too, too far. It's you're never too far to come back. You're never too far to come home to the Catholic Church, and you're never, ever too far from God. He is everywhere. He is in this moment right now. So God bless you. Have a very beautiful day. Continue to know God, love God, do God's will, and I'll talk to you guys again real soon.